Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney and welcome to From the Rabbi's Bookshelves. We're looking today at a memoir by David Weiss Halivni. He was born in Eastern Europe in 1947, brought up in Sigurd, which is also the hometown of Elie Wiesel. He was a child genius in Talmud and other Jewish studies and was destined for a, a career as an extraordinary student and teacher of uh, Jewish texts and the Jewish tradition. But of course the Holocaust intervened, he was taken to Auschwitz in his teens and then liberated and makes his way to the United States of America. There he falls under the influence of uh, Professor Shaw Lieberman who is a leading Talmudist at the Jewish Theological Seminary in New York and he becomes his student and then becomes one of his colleagues and then teaches at the JTS for many years. Now this was slightly anomalous because both Halivni and to some extent Lieberman himself never considered themselves to be conservative Jews, and yet the JTS was and is the seminary for producing rabbis for conservative synagogues. They lived with this anomaly all the way until the 1980s, when the conservative movement decided to ordain women as rabbis. Now Liebman blocked it for several years and then passed away, and Halivni took up the mantle of opposing women's ordination, and in fact left the seminary when it introduced ordination for women, and became the uh, professor of Talmud at the Columbia University in New York, and then made Aliyah and went to the live in the land of Israel, in the state of Israel. He is best known for two major theological or scholarly contributions. The first is to the study of the Talmud, which he says was composed, as we know, over many years, with very, very heavy editorial work towards the end of the period of compilation and he tries to do a critical source analysis of the text of the Talmud and to break it down into its component parts. And that's been done in a multi-multi-volume commentary on the Talmud. His second contribution is to understanding the biblical text. Now, there's been a strong movement in the 19th century and 20th century towards understanding the, the Bible, and especially the, the Chumash, the five books of Moses, in the same way as Halivni understands the Talmud, made up of several sources edited over a long period of time. Now that's not the orthodox position, and Halivni is attempting to straddle the orthodox and unorthodox divide. And so he came up with this idea, that in fact there was one single text given to Moses in the desert by God, but it became corrupted over time. And there was a late editing not to create a new text, but an attempt to recreate a text that has been lost. And so all the difficulties which the critical scholars identifying the biblical text, a result not of it not being a text originally, which was unified mosaic text, but because of an attempt much later on to put back together the jigsaw which had been broken up and which was done only imperfectly. This is his compromise and it's highly controversial and idiosyncratic, but it's how he tried to uh, bridge that divide between a scholarly and a more traditional position. Now, Halivni published a memoir of his time both in Eastern Europe and in Auschwitz, and also as he came to America and became an established scholar and religious leader, and it's called The Book and the Sword. And he writes very movingly about different parts of his life. For example, he says when the Germans came into his hometown, he knew things were really terrible because people took the angemachs, the jams off the shelves, which are only eaten on special occasions and in small amounts to make them last, and just started gobbling them up because they knew that there was no point keeping them for a special occasion. There won't be one of those for a long time to come. He also tells a very moving story about what he calls the Blettel. So there was a German guard in the camp who used to have a fatty, meaty sandwich every night for dinner. And it would be wrapped in a piece of paper. And one day he noticed there was something different about the piece of paper. This time, however, our meeting was different. His sandwich was wrapped in a page of Aruch Chaim, a volume of the Shulchan Aruch, that is the authoritative code of Jewish law. Here, of all places, in the shadows of the tunnel, under the threatening gaze of the German, a page of the Shulchan Aruch, with fatty spots all over it, met my eyes. He begs for that uh, spotted, dirty, greasy piece of Shulchan Aruch to be given to him, and he treasures it, and he learns it, and he teaches it, and it becomes a rallying point for the traditional Jews around him, some connection they still have with their old life of old learning and pre-war tranquility before the Holocaust comes along. Eventually the piece of paper is lost, but it still remains 
very powerful in the mind and the memory of David Weiss Halevny. Thanks for joining.